Do you know beams can be analyzed using simple maths? Using qualitative analysis, we can analyze continuous beams and find its bending moment diagram. In today's tutorial, I will find bending moment diagram of a continuous beam. This is part 17 of my lecture series on understanding structural behavior for iStructE structural behavior certificate course. Let's dive into the example. Assuming a point of contraflexure, what is bending moment at B? This is a continuous beam and by the looks of it it looks that it is indeterminate structure indeterminate structure means that the ones that we cannot solve using equilibrium equations because there are four reactions a roller will have one reaction a pin support will have two reactions so there are four unknowns and equilibrium equations are three so si will be equal to u minus e so 4 minus 3 equilibrium equations are summation of horizontal vertical forces and summation of moment equal to 0. So this is 1. But because we are assuming that there is a point of contraflexure. Now what is point of contraflexure? The point of contraflexure is a point where bending moment is 0. So we can consider this point of contraflexure as internal pin or a hinge and that simplifies the analysis quite a lot and it makes this a structure as statically determinate structure it means that we can release this one force by having this internal pin over here it means minus one so si will be equal to zero now we can analyze this structure using equilibrium equations now what is moment at b so let us find out what is moment at b there are four options here but we will explore all the options if you want to try this question first before watching this video go to this url or scan this barcode and pause this video now to solve this problem first thing I want to do I want to find out the reactions so that I can find out moment at B so let me call this point as C this as D and this point as E so we have VD we have VE and we have VC so the first thing I would say summation of vertical forces are equal to zero the vertical forces are vertical reactions so VC plus VD plus ve is equal no not zero we have 16 times 4 we have 64 kilo newton i call this equation as equation one i want to first say summation of moment at point a but from right side is equal to zero because this is internal pin at point a that will help me to find out the reaction at E when I use this so VE times distance from A to E is 3 meters and this is creating anti-clockwise moment so that's why it is negative plus due to this 16 kilo Newton 16 times from A to E I have 3 meters times 3 divided by 2 is equal to 0 so this will give me ve equal to 16 times 3 times 1.5 will give me 72 divided by 3 so this is equal to 24 kilonewtons so i can put this back over here vc plus vd is equal to 64 and then if i bring ve on the other side it will be negative 24 so vc plus vd is equal to 40 kilonewton and i call this equation as equation 2. in third step i want to find out moment at a but from left side and that is equal to zero because a is pin so summation of moment at a but from left is equal to zero now in that way i will find out reactions at vd and uh, vc so first vc vc times distance from c to a is this 4 plus 4 plus 1 so that is 9 this is creating a clockwise moment plus reaction vd times 1 the distance between a and 
d is 1 take away 16 times that is this load here times 1 times 1 over 2 is equal to 0 so i can say that 9 bc plus vd is equal to 8 and i call this equation as equation 3. now if you want to simplify it i can say that subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 so if i write this equation here vc plus vd is equal to 40 so i will have this negative sign this negative sign and this negative sign this and this will get cancelled so this will give me 8 vc minus 40 plus 8 will give me minus 32 so this will give me vc as equal to minus 32 divided by 8 that is minus 4 kilonewton now note that we have a negative reaction here so negative reaction means that it will go down so now we have all reactions this vc is a downward reaction that is 4 kilonewton and which makes sense because if you draw the deflected shape of this structure it would be like this it means that we have hogging over here tension here and tension at this point now this will generate a moment four times up to b i have four so four times four it will generate anti-clockwise moment so moment at b so mb is equal to four times four but negative so it is negative 16 kilonewton meter that is in hogging so if i go to the options the correct option is option a which is 16 kilonewton meter if you want you can plot the bending moment diagram over here so we have this bending moment this is point b at point b we have 16 kilonewton meter and at this point which is point d at that point we have 32 kilonewton meter and then from here it will pass through here and then it will go through here and between this point and this point that will be wl square over 8 so wl square over 8 will be 16 times 3 square divided by 8 so 16 times 9 divided by 8 it will be 18 kilonewton meter so this is our final bmd so the correct option is option a 16 kilonewton meter did you get it right don't worry if you didn't just watch back this video and then try to understand it if you want to watch similar videos on a structural behavior go to this url or scan this barcode to go to playlist you can also download the slides and solve the questions as you go on by going to this url and scanning this barcode the links will be provided in the description down below thanks for watching this tutorial today i will see you in my next presentation